Back out at Winter Field, we're here for the Cranberry Corner. Bryson Stott joining us for the first time. First year as a Wisconsin Rapids Rafter. Bryson, what's the move been like for you? Um, it's definitely different. The, the weather, the kids, everything's different. It's not, not Las Vegas for sure. You get to come in with Tavita Gerber, a teammate from UNLV. What's the transition been like with you bringing him along? Um, makes it easier for sure. Um, just having someone that was a teammate of mine in the spring to uh, come with me along in the summer to meet all these kids is it's pretty awesome. You guys have played in 28 games so far. Get the Madison Mallards here coming up for a three-game series. What's been the biggest thing for you guys, staying focused through 28 games? Um, just relaxing, having fun, not not pressing. Um, just go out and having fun with all the boys and keep winning. More on a personal note, Bryson, you come in here after your freshman year, got to have a chance to be co-Mountain West freshman of the season. What was a season like that able to do to help you come out in the Northwoods League? Um, definitely a confidence booster. Um, to uh, come out and play with some of the best kids in the country and uh, to have a good freshman year like that uh, makes it easier for me to come out here. You get to come out here, you have TV on your team as a teammate, but then you come in, all these new players. Is there a certain amount of teammates that you've been able to come real close to with? Um, Nick Owens and CJ for sure. They uh, We kind of hit it off from the very first day, so it's pretty cool to have them along as well. What's the biggest joke between you guys and, as infielders? Um, just when uh, CJ talks in his dad voice, he bought these shoes, so uh, everyone calls him dad. So uh, he has some, he has some pretty good jokes. Sounds like we're about to bring CJ on and talk about the dad shoes here on the Cranberry Corner. Yes, but when you guys uh, have a chance to go on road trips and have the infielders, everybody bond together, how's that been for you guys? Um, it's awesome to uh, make new friends, and um, you'll have these friends forever. They'll be all over the country. You'll always be connected, and uh, it's pretty cool to have different types of people in your life. Biggest hidden talent nobody knows about Bryson Stott? Oh, uh, I'm a pretty good basketball player, if I had to say so myself. So. so, Bryson, you guys at UNLV had a chance to have Greg Maddox in there for your first year as a pitching coach. What was batting practice like against Greg? Um, it was horrible. He uh, still doesn't like to get hit around, so he kind of throws his pitches that he used to throw in the major league, so it's not very fun. Mid-80s, high-90s, what's he throwing these days? Uh, he throws a cutter, some two seams. He doesn't throw very hard. But the ball moves, and you don't really, you don't really want to hit that. Hardest ball you ever hit off Greg Maddox? Um, I think I hit a fly ball to center field. Bryson Stott hitting fly balls to center field off Greg Maddox. Joining us on the Cranberry Corner out here from Winterfield, Bryson. Thanks. Yep.